Hey guys, I thought I would do my um, Did You Know segment uh, as a video for you guys today. So, um, <clears throat> today's Did You Know is about headaches. Did you know that animals also can get headaches and migraines? Uh, they can't tell us what's wrong, so it often goes misdiagnosed or even unnoticed. Animal and animal senses are so much more um, developed than ours, for instance horses, dogs and cats, that they can easily be affected by uh, their surroundings. So allergies, um, bright lights, uh, jerking on the collar if it's a training issue, uh, dental issues, health issues, those can all affect um, the dog and cat and horse or other animals even and uh, create headaches. <coughs> Noticeable symptoms um, may include squinting to seemingly avoid sunlight or bright lights such as fluorescence, <coughs> avoiding interaction, um, rubbing their head on the sofa or hiding their head on the sofa, hiding in dark places, lowering their head, um, curved back, sometimes those are indications of different pain. Um, <clears throat> the most worrisome uh, symptom of all is head pressing. Head pressing is the compulsive act of pressing their head against something like a wall or a couch. And uh, this generally will indicate a neurological problem or damage to the nervous system and you should seek vet help immediately. Back to headaches, uh, the treatments can include massage such as um, T-touch, uh, craniosacral and um, Swedish massage, acupuncture, chiropractor, um, or clearing dentistry or different training um, equipment if those are the issues, um, homeopathy. Uh, is a good one also and vets are becoming more and more um, learned and skilled in homeop homeopathic vet medicine. Um, I know my vet is and it's a godsend. Or you can do a combination of multiple modalities um, and those seem to help a lot more and all of these can be done in conjunction with your vet. Of course you should visit your vet first. Um, to determine what the issue is, but any of the other therapies can be used with, uh, in combination with the vet's help. So basically, an animal in pain needs to be able to trust you and calm down and relax enough <clears throat> that uh, it will let you do your work. Uh, once he or she is calm, in a dark place, you can start a slow massage. This massage can go um, from the head, the face, to the neck and the ears, uh, all, all with the intention to relax the muscles, uh, relieve the stress, and at the same time, um, uh, alleviate the headache symptoms. This can be very relaxing for the animal and uh, enable the worker to perhaps um, work on other modalities such as chakra or aura clearing, uh, acupressure, etc. So I hope you like this uh, little video. I am um, going to add a little video at the end of this that I took the other night with Loki while I was um, massaging him. <clears throat> he was a bit insecure that night. So the video is not a very good um, quality but it is uh, in dark so um, but it shows a little bit of the uh, massage on the head and the neck and the ears a little bit um, so I hope you enjoy it if you have any questions please let me know we offer a lot of um, a lot of services and options for you guys so let us know what you need talk to you later